Hello. Hey, how's it going? Who the hell is that? It's, it's uh, Kevin. Who? <sighs> Kevin? Uh, come in, I guess. I'm, I'm just here to, to talk for a second. About what? I'm interested in purchasing the team. Okay? Really? You're gonna have to come up with a lot of money if you want to do that, son. The hell, son? No, I d it's just how old people refer to young people. Anyway, how much? One hundred billion dollars. The Tampa Bay Rays have one of the worst stadiums in Major League Baseball. There is a rumor a couple of years ago this team might split home games between Montreal and Tampa Bay. I stepped in and took over this franchise because enough is enough. Enough of the rumors, enough of everything going on in terms of relocation, because if anyone's going to relocate this team, it's gonna be this guy. I am here again to relocate the Tampa Bay Rays north, north of the border in, in Canada. Yeah, Montreal, Quebec. Home to the worst drivers in maybe planet Earth. That is no joke. I almost may have died on the way to the stadium. You're driving over that bridge that lights up at night, and then one second you're, you think you're in the right lane, and you are in the right lane, and then the next thing you know, someone just comes moving on in. I'm moving in this lane, asshole. This guy almost drove me into the water. There's a pothole the size of Dairy Queen down the street. Nothing happens in this city that has anything to do with taking care of the roads. I'm here to take care of the sports franchise. I move the expo or I didn't move anyone they're staying in the east because that makes sense that makes perfect sense actually I'm not going to be in a general manager role I'm not going to do anything or I ha you have to you have to do some things general manager e right like you can't just go into it and not or you may can you I will do some things general manager wise I don't want to completely I don't want this to be a situation where Ross Atkins is is like the messenger where he basically relays information probably from the higher ups. All right, wait, that is what I want to do. I am Mark Shapiro today. So what happens is I'm going to make this not like the same as it was. I'm not taking care of anything managerial. If you're the coach, you do coaching jobs. I want to put that in the hands of people who are more knowledge on that than me. I guess technically I have to be very managerial generally because if I can't do this, then basically I'm here for no reason. I am going to auto manage development and manager tasks. Let them take care of that because I want this to be anything but a colossal fail. I feel like I did a terrible job at those specific things, so I don't know what this is going to be. Here we are. Look at this. First game of of the regular season is against the Blue Jays. I even created the jerseys again. They're probably inaccurate. I just tried to basically put them together with what I remember them as. I want to bring back the old school feel to the franchise. I want to make it so the classic Expos logo returns and then maybe in the future we can think about rebranding. I am going to do this so or I think I said everything. Where do I see the stadium? I I found I what I found a stadium that is basically an upgraded version of Olympic Stadium in Montreal. We are playing at a slightly tiny bit renovated Olympic Stadium, so that is a good thing. Sponsorships. Let's see this. This is something I should take care of. What is going on? In-game ticker. I don't know what this does. What is this? Are we earning things for doing something? How about we do... Uh, hold on. We get $10,000 is what I'm seeing per home run. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's get a couple of sponsors that is just related to the long ball. What do I have in the bank? What is what I'm thinking right now? 57.88 million is what I walked in with. That's all I'm considering spending. The team revenue is 142 million right now. We're kind of in the hole, I think, from the 
players' salaries. So that's unfortunate. I think that's how that looks. I will learn. Can I do any... What is the team and where is the depth chart? Because we need to at least have somewhat of a competitive team. With this franchise, we might have pitching. The starting rotation is the seventh overall in baseball right now. There is nobody below a 75. That is very impressive. I'm, I'm assuming just from my knowledge of this franchise and organization that there's probably at least a handful of people in the minor leagues that are waiting to come and kick everyone's ass. Sounded weird in that sentence, but you know what? We're not in any way except, wait, we have a terrible catcher. We are almost last in catcher and the shortstop position is no longer filled by a creep. We have to try and get some star talent here who, you know, keep them away from the local high school. And then maybe we can actually keep them on the team here and then you don't have to worry about anyone disappearing randomly. Renee Pinto. I have never heard of this person in my life. Francisco Mejia, for some reason, is a higher overall and is behind him. So from what I'm seeing, it would be nice to get a middle infielder, shortstop preferably, and a catcher. Do we have trade bait? Wait, I need to look at that again. We might have, I don't know, actually. I don't know if we have anybody who is going to, the only, the best players on this team are like Paredes, a Rosarena. Jose Siri is an 83, apparently. Josh Lowe and Diaz. I would like to keep Diaz. Our, oh, wait, I didn't even see the bullpen, but you know what? Again, it doesn't matter. The bullpen is elite. Look at Peter over there. Guy looks like he's about to murder every reporter in the room when you're interviewing him. So I like that mentality. The catcher position is not really star studded. We have some people with potential but there's not really oh wait hold on a second the Mets with Francisco Alvarez here hold on what do we have for catcher positions because you know I mean if you're gonna give up a catcher then get one in return maybe Brandon Lau or something is is all right I guess we don't have that many eh. we have to wait for possibly the off season to make some moves here although you know I don't want to trade a very good reliever or something for just, you know, a young catcher. I believe in young talent. It's just that, uh, Drew Rass. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, hold on. Oh, what am I doing? I don't want to trade a starter. I'm, I'm trying to keep the pitch in here, right? If you're going to trade a starter, make sure it's somebody that you're not using or just you don't want to pay in the offseason, right? You want to kick them out the door. You don't have to worry about anyone trying to ask for a shitload of money. Out of everybody I was willing to give up, for some reason, they want Zach Little. Everyone wants pitching. That's what I feel like is the situation we have here. All right, I'm, this doesn't look like it's going to happen unless they want someone crazy in return. Hold on. Actually, screw this. I'm just going to go into the season. Let's do it. Let's run the table here. Let's see what we have because I want... Oh, shit. We're, look at this. We're 12 and 5, 13, 5, 7. Holy shit, we're a wagon. We're winning 20, 20 wins. We're still winning. Jesus Christ. You know how good this is without getting harassed by injury updates? Duran goes to the Padres. What are the twins doing? Okay, that's interesting. That's definitely a trade I was interested in seeing. Sometimes there's people that don't really have any significance and it shows me. Today is the end of the Southern League. I like to keep going, please. Does anyone, man, I don't know. This is like the most typical raise season I've ever seen. We have like maybe three people besides pitchers who are people you'd look at on a piece of paper and say, oh shit, he's good. Why did that stop? Oh, we're in the draft. Did we get anyone on the all-star team? McClanahan. Jesus Christ, he had like the most strikeouts. So yeah, besides Garrett Cole, the draft is important. I like to have some input on the draft, please. Actually, this guy is probably no... <laughs> this guy is a machine. Shortstop, 49% interest. I've never seen a prospect who had more potential and a significantly good overall. He can play short and third base. If he's not added to the draft queue, then who the hell is? Rob Castle, again. Oh my god. We have some talented people, but we need, you know, maybe get some middle tier players who are not obviously going to get taken first. What is my pick? Does it say? Oh wait, it says right there. I have the 18th pick, so yeah, there's probably no fucking chance that I get those people, so I don't know why I even tried to. Uh, I don't even know if we need to 
possibly draft pitchers. It'd be nice to just get some maybe... Okay, this guy's a middle infielder. Holy shit, this guy looks like a young Gene Simmons. Matt Bryan, reliever. No, don't want that. We have probably a shitload of relievers waiting to be called up right now, so I don't need him. Another starter. No, I don't mind looking for that. So just from the players we scouted, it's probably best to look at these positions because I was not doing that, and then I'm just looking at random people who probably have no interest in joining the team. Darren Wiseman, shortstop, can also play second and third base. All right, that's actually pretty solid. I mean, I don't know. It's just, I'm not going to get any of these top players here. This is basically, wait, was he... I don't know. I just, um, I, I, it's probably smart actually to maybe get some uh, players who are interested because that was something that was noticing is difficult. Let's see if I can get anyone. Let's see who gets the person who is probably the best prospect I've seen since Bryce Harper and Steven Strasburg because holy shit, I've never seen a prospect with more talent than that individual. I don't even remember his name. That wasn't him, though. Julian Lopez goes to the Guardians with the first overall pick. Okay, of course it's a starter. The second overall pick is going to... Who is it? I don't know. I'm waiting. Waiting the suspense. It's going to the Cincinnati Reds. That was not the top pick either. Huh? Everybody wants pitching. That was not the individual that I wanted. I'm going to Bernie. Oh my God. If we get Bernie Zito, this is the greatest draft that I've ever seen. If we get Zito, which is probably not happening, or if we get someone like, or I don't know if I even want anyone else other than him. Holy shit. He's still on the board. What the hell our team's doing? The most talented person in the entire draft out of every prospect that I've saw we have two individuals who still potentially that I will I had them on the draft queue we can either take this guy who has a pretty solid potential they're both catchers actually interesting yeah this guy had a 74 percent interest too you know what I might take this guy just because he did have uh more interest I don't know he looked like he was interested in joining the team welcome to the dream Welcome what welcome to the dream I honestly have never in my entire life seen maybe a better draft like that was so satisfying that if we didn't get somebody who is as good as Zito then it would have just been a simply disappointing thing I don't think we need to trade for anybody. No, I don't care about that. I just want this to keep going here. Oh, well, it's David Bednar goes to the Yankees. Bernie Zito, if he isn't the number one person we need to sign, then I don't know who is. All right, figure it out. It is the trade deadline, and we are 66 and 41. I mean, you might be able, this is the perfect time to maybe swoop in and get maybe a catcher or something. I mean, it's, it's never a bad idea to upgrade a position, right? Like, it's not like it's going to curse the team or something. This is what pitching does. Look at this. Drew Rasmussen, Shane McClanahan, and Jeff free. Contreras is cold. I don't want to sign anyone that's cold because Gabriel Moreno, oh my god, hold on a second. I might be able to completely ruin every hope that is in Toronto. I might be able to possibly get him back. He's on fire right now and he has an A potential. He has really good fielding. That is what I'm looking for. This team doesn't need some damn offensive bats or something, right? Like this guy is just good behind the plate and who cares about anything else? Alright, well this guy's cold and that is seem to be interesting for the Diamondbacks so hopefully we can get something maybe something it looks close it's gonna be close oh uh, yeah I'd kind of be sick and disgusting if you traded someone on the injured list ah this is interesting I don't know who, who who they want over here right like who do they want the only person who they're interested in is Diaz literally that's it like could that be any more close I don't even think that could be any more close if you can try actually you know what screw this no one wants to do anything let's uh, try to see if I can sign some people. I don't know. I mean, it, uh, I don't know. Randy is worth signing just for the simple fact that he is an absolute machine in the postseason. Damn, he's actually not doing that bad this year. He might not be hitting for power, but uh, you know, why not? I mean, I'm not, I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not interested in signing him for maybe like a long-term deal or something. I'm not getting hooked into a George Springer contract. Brady, same thing. Oh my God. Yeah, like you're not taking this. This is not bad at all. Two years, 10.8. 
you'll take that and you'll fucking like it. Maybe Siri too, if he wants to sign for a team friendly deal or something, right? Like I'm not, yeah, look at this. He is, wow. He is very interested in three years, 10 million, maybe a little bit less than this. Holy shit. This guy wants, what am I, what's happening here? This guy will sign for basically if you just give him bag of Coca-Cola. Like why is he willing to sign so little? Three years, 8 million. Okay, that was the easiest signing I've ever had. Shane Baz, feel like that's a good... Oh my god, this is not even... I am finessing my own team. Bradley can also possibly... Look at this, two years, two million. This feels like robbery. Jason, no way, pal. Jason Adams not getting... This is a reliever for shit's sakes. This guy's not getting like insane money. Okay, you better. Yeah, like I am just completely taking advantage of my own players and I'm I'm feeling not bad about it. All right, I think I saw... Oh, wait, Josh Lau, that'd be a good signing too. I feel like he's good. He is very good. Good little three-year deal. I'm signing all these guys for like three-year, $10 million deals. Look at this guy. What the f*** is going on here? I'm either getting advice from Alex Anthopoulos or I am going to be hated by everyone on my team shortly. All right, we cannot completely fall apart. Now, I, I just basically willingly gave up possibly trading for anybody. Why did it stop here? What's happening? September call-ups. Okay, I'm interested in this. He was, yeah, I don't know. This guy's on fire too. How is he on fire? He's hitting 213. You know, you can give people a chance, right? Like, it's not like you're really doing anything. It's September call-up season, so you can give people a little bit of a chance. I mean, I don't know. We have some talent here. 26, 28 years old. This guy has B potential. Yu Chang. This guy has 79 RBIs and 16 home runs. Yu Chang has... Or I guess he has way less at bats. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll bring him up. Why not, right? Give him a chance. Postseason time, all right? Oh my God, we're losing. We just lost like fucking... I don't even know. We lost maybe... 10 out of 12 or something from what I saw, and we still may have done very well. Our minor league system, I think, just did all right. Yep, I think so. I think the minor league system... Holy shit, the Bulls have... Be oh, they've been defeated. That's bad. It looked like they did something good. The Biscuits have won the Southern League. Okay, so the minor league... I'm not surprised, actually, because... Yeah, we made the postseason. Oh, that was a wild card team. We were 93 and 69. We didn't miss by much. We just basically came a couple games behind. I don't know what happened to the Red Sox. Jays, of course, are completely in the dumpster, so that's no surprise. The Yankees and Montreal Expos are going to be taking the field in the wild card matchup. That is interesting. That would not be something you would expect to see so uh let's go let's do it we have a solid team we know we can win it's just a matter of when and how shane mcclanahan i'm assuming against josh or no what what will happen now all right i mean this is the definition of pitching is going to carry this team i think we should probably try to do something with the pitching we go down quick in fact no one's barely got a hit through two innings all right so clearly the pitching is happening here we have a man and on second, we ground up. I am making... Oh my god, it was a Rosa right It was the signing of signings for the most team-friendly deal ever, and he decided to take his anger out on the baseball. Two hits each. This is Shane's game to finish. Oh my god, there is nothing happening. This is the most uneventful postseason game that's maybe ever taken place. This might end one nothing Unless Aaron Judge hits a home run, I don't think anything's happening. We have two outs. Oh my god. Wait, how that- What? What? How did- What happened? It said there was someone on first and third and someone got a single and we didn't score? Oh no. Anthony Rizzo hit a solo shot. They take Garrett Cole out for Ian Hamilton. Paredes hit a double. It scores two. That is- Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. Don't- Wait, where is he? Hold on. You gotta be careful. Is he done? He might be done. Yeah, you give up a solo shot. I'm running out on the field. You can't go wrong with bringing any reliever in on this damn team, right? Like, what is the- What is the deal here? Poche shitting the bed right now. He is. He really is. He got out of it. I don't even know what happened. It looked like he was gonna give up like 10 runs at an inning and he got out of it. No, take Poche out. I'm doing this smart here. Pitching change for- or let's go Peter. Peter has a chance to possibly have a legendary post-game recap interview if this goes south. There's two outs. And Peter gets it done. Well, dare I say that is huge. Because it, it just is. It really is. And 
you need to win as much as you can. Zach Eflin, you need pitching, all right? That's what we're doing here. You just gotta win. This is gonna be very stressful, actually. This is, yeah, it is. This will be very stressful for how this goes because this is how every game is gonna go. It's gonna be a one-run game every time. No one's beaten. Oh, God. Soto, oh, my f***ing Christ. This is bad now. Volpe hits a three-run home run, and now I'm down 3 nothing, and it seems like it won't end. What the hell's going on? Zach Eflin just gave up five runs in the f in second inning. Not even the combination of the two. Okay, get him out of there. I'm gonna have to bring in maybe a starter to finish this. This guy stinks. Way to go, pal. Way to make it feel like we have a chance. It's 6 nothing. If they score again, the momentum is no longer even a thing because it's over. Oh, yeah. Zach Eflin has came to the field on a horse today, and he did not deliver. He came in the back of an ice cream truck. What the f*** is the offense doing, actually? Okay, Diaz is on the board. We have one run. That's probably nothing, though. I think uh, Bradley is doing all right. He hasn't really given up. Or, wait, did, did he give up two runs? I think he did. Stroman is getting tired, and you're telling me... Okay, hold on. Solo home runs the eighth inning. I'm joining. I'm joining, but I'm just, I have to sit back in my booth and see how this goes. Because, you know, if it's not going to be anything, it's going to be something. First at bat of the inning is Brandon Lau. He pops up. Good job, pal. Randy Rosarena does have, what? He does. He has nothing this game. He hit a very clutch home run the last time, and now he's doing nothing. A very muggy and cold evening in New York, it looks like. Oh god, it this is not going well, is it? It's down to the last batter and we don't look like a team. This was a terrible display of baseball. It was. It's, I, I'm walking down to the damn dugout after this game for the clubhouse. I'm walking in with a chainsaw. What the hell is going on on the baseball field? We're, we played in Montreal all season. We should be used to the weather. Down to the last strike, and he strikes out. Not even a damn competition that was. That was just ugly. Aaron Boone has... Won the game for the team. All right, well, wait a second. We're not going back home? Clearly, I forgot how this worked. We're still in New York. The Canadian connection is rubbing off on the Expos. Why could we not score that? Now, this is going to be a situation where this, this is going to be like the same as the Astros, where probably Rizzo and Judge are the only ones who do something. We have the bases loaded. The bases are loaded. There's two outs. I really didn't see that happening. And Savali needs to just finish this now. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That was me. Mejia hit a damn home run. Bases loaded again. Oh, my God. We came to play. 7-0. Now, the bases are still loaded. Oh, my God. We might mercy rule these people. We just scored nine runs in two innings. And not even really anything happened but just clutch hitting. We are kicking the shit out of everybody who comes in right now. Savali might finish this game. So, Zach Eflin is dog shit is what I'm learning from this. And everybody else you can trust. No, no, let him finish. Wow. 12-1 was the final score of the last game in the wild card series. If you want to avoid any two teams, is you want to avoid the Yankees and the Astros. And I avoided the Astros, I think. I just need Baltimore to somehow win that series and then we might actually have a damn chance over here we will never arrive in montreal from what i'm seeing twins were 99 and 63 and they traded away their best closer we have the best pitcher back shane mcclanahan we looked like we were gonna score strike out strike out and then what the hell the hell whatever happened in that third at bat I can't believe that this team is actually doing this. I really... Oh, God. It's still 4-2. We're doing something. We don't do anything. We don't score. We don't do anything in that inning again. I mean, this is probably going to be a close series, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Absolutely. Now they've scored three unanswered. We scored four. Now we scored again. Okay, Jose Siri has done something. It won't stop. It's just back and forth action now. I scored four. They scored three. And that's... We're just going back and forth. What can happen? What is happening on the field? Jane McClanahan is falling apart. Get a pitching change in there. He was getting tired. I'm not letting this go to shit. They had the bases loaded, I think, and then somehow I got out of it. Look at that quick inning. That was not even a debate. Walk, sacrifice, bunt. Okay, a little bit of 
small baseball going on. Nothing happens. I'm joining the game. It's 5-5 in the bottom of the ninth. Jason Adam is in the game. This is kind of scary because it's the first game of the series and you need to win this. We're about to play five playoff games before we even reach the Canadian border. We need to go back with at least a series tie. So if you win the first one, the second one isn't as intense. Or what the hell is that mindset? Win every game. Don't give up a home run. Don't. That's, that's Mass Kevin Kelly. Who the hell's this guy? This guy came Toronto in the field. He had a 2.23 ERA, apparently. All right, again. See, who the hell is that? Who is this guy coming trotting out onto the field in a playoff game? I've never heard of him before. And he apparently has a 2 ERA almost. Willie Castro is now entered. If it's going to be anybody, it's going to be someone you don't expect. I would expect someone like Correa or Kepler or... Uh, Lewis. Peter is in the bullpen. We're waiting to take the lead to bring him in. All right, I just, you have to be scared. Oh God, nice job, buddy. Edward Julian. All right, well, it's interesting because I think he is from Quebec or somewhere around there. So this, this, this is the most fitting thing I've ever seen, actually. Where the hell did the ball go? To protect you from the lasers going into... Oh my god, he hit that. Get this f***ing idiot out of here. This guy's still in the game. There's all these... Uh, you sit in your damn suite and you think that you want to... No! What a piece of shit. I don't want to ever see that guy again. Good job, Kevin. Now we have to go in using Zach Eflin, who legitimately had the worst outing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this would, yeah, I don't know. This is, this is, this is scary. You have to win this game. There's no debate. Single fielder's choice. Okay, good. I was scared after the leadoff single. Oh my God, Paredes had a two run shot. Ah, oh my God, this guy stinks. This guy smells like rat urine out here on the mound. Yeah. Double single. Oh my God, we cashed in someone. We get the run back. The momentum may have been disintegrated. We have seven hits. Zach Eflin might be having a revenge game because he's only given up three hits. He's almost through five. Yeah, this is a revenge game if I've ever seen it. You got to give someone a chance here. I marched my ass in the rope and I said, give this guy another chance. And he is responding to this. And the offense is, oh my God, yes. Oh wait, that was me. Or that was them, I mean. I don't even know what I'm saying. It was the twins, dude. And they, yep, yeah, this is bad. Hold on. Yep, yeah, he, he, what the fuck was that? He was legitimately in the green and then just plummeted. Oh, man. I don't think he's pitched yet, so let's see how he does. Oh, God. Yeah, nice job, pal. This guy comes in, gives up a two-run shot. Now it's 6-5. Diaz gets a single. Lau gets a single. It's first and third strikeout. That was 100% a double play to end. No! You know what? I'm playing this one. Okay. Oh, God. What was that? That was a hanging changeup. Or whatever that was. No one's warming up right now. This is this is a mess. There's a chance. There's a little bit of a chance. What is this pitch? This is impossible. Apparently not. By the way, this is on Hall of Fame. I can't see anything right now. I should have just let the CPU handle this. How did I hit that? And there is really not anybody on this team me besides two people who I'd really feel confident, or maybe more than that. Rene Pinto. I don't know why Mejia is not playing, but I guess this guy, uh, this guy was cold, wasn't he? I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Stop it. Stop! Okay, I think the lighting's a bit better, and Josh Lowe is up, or Lau, whatever one it's pronounced, and I feel like he has the best chance of hitting a home run. No, this is not better at all. This is gonna have to go to, like, the 14th for this to get any better. Okay. Why is he throwing over right now? I didn't realize he had that much speed, and he has 87 stealing. Christ, if, if uh... A time ever aroused that a stolen base would be nice. I might take off. That is big. That's like Dave Roberts type big. Maybe not even close to that big. I can't see. Would have been nice last at bat. Okay, good. Brandon Lau is up. And I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. It's hit well. 
It's down. Just close your eyes and swing, buddy. Peter better be warming up. Hard, cold. Huh? I don't even know what I just said. Where's Peter? That does not happen if the stolen base did not happen. I don't know. I've, this, this, I'm not, this is a miracle if I win this. Come on, Peter. Oh, yeah. He's coming in throwing heat. Korea is batting seventh. Interesting. Get it. That's huge. There's nothing that isn't huge at this point. Doesn't matter what out it is. And what you throw is above it. Yeah, looked like that may have been thrown away. Can I get a righty coming up, please? Max Kepler is 0 for 4. Is he due? Is he due for the most annoying home run that I've seen in a recent month, maybe? Because if he hits one, it will be. What? Peter. Damn it to hell, Peter, buddy. Come on. Yes. Yes. When you need them the most. Look at that shit show. Christ, I can't believe what I'm about to see right now, but I think I might be able to get a home game. Come on, man. This is big. We're returning home to Montreal, and it'd be nice if you can actually go in there and win a game. Not even just by like a run or something. Maybe by 10. Kick the shit out of everybody. Why not right now? This would be perfect. I think Savali was the one who had the greatest outing of all time against the Yankees. So we go down one hitting. Is this not like the most... Oh, shit. That might be the only way we can win. It seems like whenever I score, it's from someone hitting a home run. Nice. What? Savali is choking. Oh, we scored again. It's 2-2, and it's never more even. Actually, he's not choking at all. It's just that he's given up home runs and just hits when he shouldn't be. Dude, look at this shit. We're scoring, they're scoring, they're, they keep scoring. Bring the lefty in. Let's go into Montreal. We have returned to the... What? I don't know. Lucky everyone made it alive to the stadium. Base is loaded and Byron Buxton is up. Look at this intense situation. Nighttime in Montreal. You can smell the poutine. The gravy is dripping from the top of the stadium. What? That. Come on, man. Look at this situation. There's barely any light in this dump. It's about to shrivel up into a damn raisin on the field. I want to see a home run. I want to see. I'm never more happy that I can actually see the baseball. It's hit well. Damn. That's, that's all right. Come on. It's, it's, uh, damn, this is the ninth inning. No. Throw it away. Paredes is the last chance. Well, this is a must win. Game number four of the division series, and I need to win this. This might be good. He is a lefty. They have, or I guess they don't have that many lefties, but it seemed like they did. I don't know if they changed their lineup or something, but it seemed like everybody I faced was a lefty. Great. Nice inning. Good job. Correa hits a home run. We are failing right now. We're doing that. That's a definition of what we're doing. People are cursing in French language right now. We now have the bases loaded, and we fly out to end the inning. That is never more depressing. Correa walks and Spencer Steer hits a two-run home run. Look at this. Jeffrey Springs is dog urine right now, man. What the hell is going on? Oh my god, you can't get it. You can't get rid of it. That's huge. Jose Siri comes up with a massive two-run shot in the Montreal night. It's 6-3 now. We have 10 hits. It's not like we're getting our asses kicked. We're kind of just not cashing in when we need to. Oh my god, they're doing the same thing. Or they're doing the thing that I'm not doing. Look at this bullshit. I don't know who's gonna come in and get it out here. Like, this is weird.
Well, if it's gonna be anybody, it's gonna be me. This is a must-win game, and I find myself down six in the ninth inning. For some reason, you can see the fans through Diaz, and it's distracting me very much. Those random people that are standing up there, if are those even people? What is that? Bon anniversaire. How do you tell everyone to go to hell in French? I don't know what it's going to take, but it's going to take something of legendary proportions. What are you doing? Well, the Twins are a pain in the ass. The Orioles have defeated the Dodgers to win the 2024 World Series. Holy shit, I don't know if this is... The American League is impossible right now. Tanner Scott signs a six-year, $63 million deal with the Nationals. You know what? I don't know, man. I don't think we need one, Soto. I'm not really interested in, you know, he will take up most of the money. That's, that's kind of where I've learned my lesson. Where's the depth chart? Well, What's going on here? We probably, yep, yeah, we need another shortstop. We need a catcher. Man, that's probably like the number two or sh shut up. We need two more positions most likely and maybe, I know we don't need a first baseman. I was going to sign Pete Alonzo. We probably just need possibly a, we need a shortstop. We need a catcher. We need a possible outfielder as well. And you know what? The bullpen shouldn't even be a problem. We're fourth in baseball. Maybe, I mean, we're fourth in baseball starting rotation too. I don't think the pitching's the problem. So we need a shortstop who Who's a shortstop? Who's a free agent? Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas is the headliner shortstop for free agency. Might have to make a trade. I don't know, man. It seems like besides uh, T. Oscar, I'm looking for a center fielder, maybe. Maybe Glaber can be signed. Can he play? Yeah, he can play short. He might be terrible at it. But yeah, yes. Glaber is going to have to play shortstop if I sign him. That's weird. I wouldn't be against getting some more reliever depth i would do i would do that i'm, I'm not i'm not against that right you, you can't ever if you're the best relieving core if you're the best starting core in baseball it doesn't matter you can sign people still i mean willie adamas has talent yeah you know what i might try to lock him up why not rather than putting glaber there who's terrible in the field sign someone who has 91 fielding who can hit for power yeah what the fuck? why was i considering signing glaber over adamas that's weird. I don't want to lock him up. Or maybe. Maybe five years, 31 or 32 million. I don't know. Is he worth that? Maybe. He hit, oh Jesus, he had 26 home runs last year. Three years, 32 million. Why not, buddy? Let's go. Catchers. I look at catchers yet? Oh, yeah. Danny Jansen. He might be the only one, man. Let's see if I can possibly make a trade for a catcher if I want to possibly do that and then make up my mind that way. I'm going to have to give up somebody very good. What is it going to take to get Adley Ryan? I will trade talent, but I'm willing to give him up, I think. I, I think I am. I think I would do If they're willing to do that, I am willing to do that. I don't think this will happen. They want McClanahan. That's it. They Yeah, they might not do... They don't want to do this unless they get McClanahan in return. If I do that, I'm going to have to re-sign or sign a starter, and I don't think there was... There wasn't. I don't think there was... I think Corbin Burns headlined the free agent. Yeah. I'm going to have to trade for a starter if I give up McClanahan. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I'm not that stupid. I can't give up my best starter for a catcher, even though, you know, it's be good to do it. It's just, uh, it's tempting. Man, can I get Alvarez for God's sakes? Like, I was trying to get him, and then the, I know they didn't want to sign for anybody. Bernie's, oh, Jesus, hold on a second. Yeah, I guess he's probably a couple years away. So, wait, who am I trying to get at shortstop? Here's the deal. This is what's happening. I think this is what's happening. I'm gonna give up these three people who I'll probably never ever use for a catcher, okay? So that I have a catcher now. Can you get Ronald for God's sakes? You know what? This this is worth it. I will I will trade the house for Ronald. I will. I'll do it. Nope, they don't want to do it. Would they do McClanahan for that? Oh my. Now this is an interesting situation we have. I want to. I'm just looking at something here. I just want to see if I can possibly. 
pull this off. I'm not interested in Kevin Kelly anymore. He's a piece of shit. He made me mad. Is this worth it? I don't know, man. God damn it. You might have to possibly, you can get probably or not. You can get one of the greatest players in baseball. You can give up the one of the best pitchers in the American League. I need offense, man. That was, a, I don't know. I, we, we won a lot of games last year, but once it got to the playoffs, what happened? They don't want anybody but McClanahan. Nobody. You know what? I'm doing it. I, it, it it's done. It's, it's a done deal. Here's the deal. We need to sign Corbin Burns now. I think that's what needs to happen. And he might want a lot of money. I can't really trade anyone else. I need to sign Corbin Burns. If I can sign Corbin Burns, then I might be able to do this. Maybe Max Freed too. You know, maybe. Okay, Freed is only interested in a one-year deal, I think. So I guess... Yes, that is definitely huge. We needed him. I'm gonna have to put up more money. The Dodgers are willing to give him almost 60 million for four years. Yeah, he's not taking my deal. I'm gonna have to offer this guy 60 million for him to sign. Four years, 60 million. I need a starter. I can't, I can't go down without a starter. I'll look so silly. Five years, 80 million. Okay, he likes my deal. He likes it. He better. Okay, it's still on the table. Max Freed is still on the table. And did I need a first baseman? I'm forgetting getting who I need. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it is fine. I think I'm just tripping out over here. Why is Willie Adamas playing short? Or third. Okay, we got Max Free. That's huge, actually. That's very big. Seven years, 233 million. That's more than I would have offered him, so I don't even know if he would have signed. Nolan Arenado to the Dodgers. Where is, uh my people. This deal is still on the board. Hold on a second. What's going on? Why is this not... I cannot believe that. Oh, the Orioles are interested in offering me a trade. No, I've already given up enough pitching. That's not happening. I need pitching. My ass is on the line right now, man. I need pitching. Devers to the Pirates. What the hell is going on? Oh my God, Cattell Marte to the Pirates. The Pirates are going for it. All right, well, this is looking like what the team's gonna look like. I I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm a little bit worried. I mean, I got I got the best player in baseball, possibly. So I don't know if I'm, I should be worried about anything, really. My... my my starter huh i think i had a top 10 rotation before i got rid of mclanahan now i have i mean it's not terrible i am i'm a little scared i feel like i might be thrown out the door no matter what happens if i don't uh get something done okay i don't know this is probably just the team and you know what i'm happy with it i got the best player i got the best player in baseball and you know let's see how it goes i mean if i if i don't win and i just shit the bed then whatever right it's just you have to you have to make risks man you have to take risks oh we just want a huge winning streak Bryce, i don't know if you can say it's a bad trade when you get ronald back in return right like you know pitching if you don't have pitching it's it's bad but if you don't have any damn offense it's also probably worse or I don't know. Edwin Diaz to the Brewers. All right. Well, what I'm noticing, I'm noticing something. Alvarez is playing very good. Our pitching is not as good as it is. Or what? Our pitch, that made no sense. Our pitching is not as good as I thought it was going to be. It's actually going down. Alvarez is making the catching position a lot better. I don't even think we were top 10 now. Alvarez is kicking ass. All right, it's not bad. It's just not as good as I hoped. Oh, but we just got swept by the Yankees. Okay, we're 70. Yeah, I think we're going to make the playoffs. It's just a matter if we're gonna have to play in the damn wild card game again the expos have finished the season 89 73 and of course we're in the wild card series if i didn't make the playoffs i really would have felt bad oh my god we're playing the twins this is either redemption or not our pitching staff is not as bad as i think we need to get some offense man we were struggling a little bit offensively in those games a little bit i mean we did put up some runs and shit but in the you know you want to we don't have a hit in the fourth inning. That may have been the worst trade ever. Ronald, buddy. Where's Ronald? Why isn't Ronald cashing in? Double. Ronald got a double. We leave him stranded. This is a pitcher's duel. They made a change. Oh my god. Double to lead off. Diaz grounds out. Ronald reaches on an error. We scored. Alvarez with the single. Another run. We're still... No, damn it. Let Freed finish it. Ground out. 
Another ground out, and he gets it done. This was the guy that I tried to get to replace McClanahan. That was unbelievably huge, but I'm pretty sure we won the first game in the wild card series last time, and we lost, or we won the series, but we ended up shitting the bed in the postseason. Getting off to the same start. Hold on. Oh my god, we don't score. First and third with whatever, how many outs there was, you don't score. The pitching's looking good right now. I mean, I don't want to jinx anything, but Christ, it's not been a problem for the first game and a half. Ronald got a triple. And then Lau hit a two-run shot. You know what? I might be a genius. I'm still feeling a little bit nervous about my decision, but am I going to feel as nervous? I'm just saying sentences now. Zavoli is pitching a one-hitter through seven innings. He's still going. Top of the ninth. Adamus gets a triple. Sack fly. It's 3-0. Zavoli is in. Oh my god, he's he gave up a solo home run. He still has stamina. Let him finish it, and he does. We sweep. The wild card series versus the Twins. It's looking like it might be somewhat of a of a run here, maybe. Oh no, we're facing the World Series champions. It's Max Fried versus Kyle Bradish. Again, it's impossible to go into Montreal. We're playing away games like no one's business here. If we can somehow win the World Series, Nice. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is when you need pitching now when you're facing a team like this. This is bad. We are... Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't let it happen. Let it at least be competitive, man. Ronald doesn't cash in. Brandon Lau gets a solo shot. Okay. Alvarez gets a single and he's stranded. Oh, God. They're going to score. Yep, they scored once. We got a home run. It was Siri. You know what? Siri was the one I was considering replacing and then I believed in him and then hopefully that was a... a a uh, reason why we may have done something. It's still 3-2. Freed is getting tired. Ah, uh, that's it for Freed. He pitched an all right game. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't, you know, some shitty ass performance. Cano is in. This will be tough. Man, Ronald is letting me down here. Ronald, well, we have second and third and there's two outs. Walk. Oh, what? Single by Paredes scores two. There's still runners on. We fail. Jason Adam gets it done. I believe... What is Ronald doing? Ronald is 0 for 5 this game. We haven't lost yet. We haven't lost in the postseason. No water in that cup. Savali is pitching. Man, I might believe in Savali more than I believe in my own mother. So, okay, Diaz gets a damn. Oh, shit. Was that? No, it wasn't Ronald. Ronald hasn't done anything, I don't think. We're moving. We're going this game. 4-0. We almost scored again. Oh, no. A little bit of a... Oh, shit. We just gave up a fucking three-run shot. That's terrible. Jonathan India. That was the person who hit the three-run shot. You are kidding me. Score? We don't score. That is so shitty, dude. It looked like we were going to get off to the biggest start ever. Okay, Ronald gets a single, and then Lau cashes him in. That's huge. Yes. Another run. 6-3. Savali is pitching until the... Oh, no. I believe in him, but only so much. Ronald strikes out, and then Brandon Lau hits... It's a fucking solo shot. He might be playing the best out of everybody right now. Peter is in. It's 7-4 in the ninth. And he gets it done. I thought I was a blithering idiot. We go into Montreal in a situation where we can advance to the championship series. But it's Zach Eflin on the mound. And this is, yeah, you know what? If I'm ever going to go up 2 nothing in a series, it's probably this one. Okay, single, single. And now Ronald's up. And he then, man, Ronald is kind of letting me down. And then Alvarez gets a double. Alvarez was the best signing I've ever seen. That's yeah. We can win as many. Okay, he hits a triple. Ronald hits a triple. We leave him. Still 2 nothing. Jesus. Alvarez is on fire. Yeah, he is. He's only given up three hits through five innings. Brandon Lau. No runs for the Orioles still. Uh-oh. Walk single. Two run home run. Okay, get him out. I probably left him in too long. That's my fault. Damn it! That was my fault. I should have taken him. Oh, no. They're going to score again. They're going to score again. No. Oh, they didn't. What? Strikeout. 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 Okay. What is it? All right. Top of the ninth. Let's see. Let's go into it. Let's see it. There's no need to do anything but to sit back and watch right now. Jason Adam. Wait. Where's, where's, where's Peter? You know what? It, that's fine. He can pitch, but it's like, is Peter waiting? If Peter is not waiting, then this is simply just a terrible mistake. Mistake and we are not doing something smart. This is the... 
This is it. It's a huge first out. Oh man, after the disappointment. Yeah, there he is. After the disappointment we had in the postseason last season. I'm not Eminem out here, but if you're Rhyme, then you might have to be. Peter better not fail. I mean, Christ, I was praying he would come in the game. So if he fails right now, then the hell with him. Everyone's on their feet. In Olympic Stadium, you don't want to be on your feet too long. The stadium might crumble to pieces. Peter is attacking Austin Hayes and he's fouling everything off. That's deep. Did I? I just saw Ronald do something incredible. What is going on in the stance? It's down to the final out of the game. One more out. We're on the way to the championship series. I don't know who it's going to be against. I guess it's probably too soon to think about that. Just get the out. Ground ball to third base. And the Montreal Expos are going to the championship series sweeping the world series champions from the previous year i don't know if what i did could have been considered a smart move i feel like that was a move where you either got booed out of the stadium or that's it what in the hell am i looking at the cleveland guardians are in the championship series rob manfred is eating his leather chair right now it's the guardians versus the expos it will be max freed who is the best pitcher I have, so it's going to have to be someone. Ronald doesn't do anything. Another good performance, and Alvarez hits another home run. Max Fried just manned up more than I've ever seen. There was very risky things happening on the baseball field, and he got out of it. It was scary. We have two on, there's two out, and then nothing. Oh boy, yeah, we have a one nothing ball game going into the eighth. Chad Green is in for the Guardians. Okay, Max Fried still has stamina. We're going to the ninth. A clock. A comes in. Adamus gets a home or gets a home run. I don't know what happened. He got thrown out stealing, maybe. Oh my god. T Oscar Hernandez gets a double. And I believed in Freed. Dude, have we lost a game yet? Aaron Savali pitches in game two. Nice. It's a one, two, three inning. Oh no. That's not good. A leadoff double, and then it scores. So that's, well, you know, that's what you do when you need hitting, is you score when you get doubles. Oh, no, we're not doing good right now. Savali's choking. He is failing. Ronald got a meaningless single, and then they just, yeah, Ramirez hits a damn solo home run. God damn it. What is going on with Jason Adam? I feel like whenever I put this clown in, he shits the bed. He's supposed to be my best. Oh, Ronald finally hit a home run. Oh, God. That just probably erased every hour of momentum we could have possibly had. We're about to maybe, if I'm remembering this wrong or something, we just maybe lost the first postseason game here. It took till the championship series to do it. It's game three. Zach Eflin's on the mound. Oh boy. Yep. Look at that lead off home run. Oh my god, no. Are the Guardians on fire or something? How did they, Jesus, they're kicking everyone's ass. We just had the bases loaded, I think, and no one scored. Oh my god, we're not looking good right now. Oh, Jesus. We had two guys on and no one scored. That's beautiful. Hold on. Base is loaded. Base is still loaded. Two only scored. All right, get Eflin out of there before he completely makes me want to kill him. Are they scoring? Are they scoring? I don't know. Uh, wait, no, they're not. We just got a little bit going. No, we didn't score. Oh, God. We're about to give up a shitload of runs, aren't we? Yep. Wait, Diaz leads it off with a single. Ronald's up. He strikes out. Brandon Lau walks. Oh, there's two on. Single bases are loaded. I gotta see this. I gotta do it. I gotta man up for the team right now. I, I, I gotta do it. I, I'm a home. I'm a what? I'm one swing away from tying it. It's deep. Oh my god, it's getting down. What the hell's happening? A Rosarena clears the bags. Damn it! Do it for Vlad! It's a base hit! You're shitting me! It was 6-2! No! How was that not hit to the moon? It's Jose Siri with a chance. If you send it to the gap, you might score. Just be alive in the moment right now, man. That's all you need to do with yourself is just be here tonight.
I am a We tied it. Uh, that's a little bit uneventful. On the verge of either having one of the greatest postseason comebacks that I've remembered in recent memory, or if I somehow don't win, this has to be just a complete mockery of the franchise. I don't even remember what the series is at. That's a beautiful pitch. They have so many lefties, I don't know if you bring anyone in but a lefty. The steam is here. That's a very good one. It's now the bottom of the 10th. Where is Ronald? Ronald will be coming up this inning. If I don't score, this is a, this is a mess. No. Damn it, no. That was hit unbelievably hard. It's Ronald's time to shine. It's Ronald! He's in Montreal! Four in the morning, I'm sweating my ass off. I, I can't see a possible way that we lose this series now. Coming in in a very, oh boy. Yeah, nice job. Four, oh my God, he's just given up six runs in the first inning. You believe in your young talent until you don't. Seven nothing, this guy stinks. Get him out. Seven runs. What the hell was that? I had to put Zach Little in, who is technically a starter because my fucking, yeah, oh Jesus. Yeah, here we go. He might be coming back. A little bit of a comeback here. It's seven, four now, double. We just came back. We're in the 10th. It's the 10th inning. Three. Holy shit, Willie Adamas walked it off. We are one win away from going to the World Series, I think. Shane Baz is, is pitching, I believe. We were down 7-1, or 7-0. Look at this. I think this just maybe, that last game just proved that the trade that I made. The trade that I marched into the general manager's office to force happen was a good trade. Yep, this is looking shitty. How many times can you bring your starter in and then take him out in like the third or fourth? Okay, yes, the same thing is happening. We just went down and Alvarez and Adamus are the ones who are doing it. We just gave up a solo shot. Double. Jeffrey Springs stinks. Bases are loaded for Ronald right now and he does not capitalize that probably just made the game what it is all right only good thing about this is max freed is pitching so that's my only hope a rosa Reina hit a fucking solo shot i love him they had the bases loaded after three singles and didn't score pinch runner Huh? The hell's going on here? I guess, I don't know. I mean, if it was like the seventh or something, maybe, but the fourth inning, they took out their third hitter. Somebody please hit a home run or something, because if this is one nothing, this is going to be bad. Chad Green is in. Single. Strikeout, strikeout. You're kidding me. Strikeout. Two outs. Why are the Dodgers always in the World Series? We go into the World Series for the first time. And I'm simming this only. To prove that the trade I made is going to be a success is sim only in the World Series. I can't take over at any time. I have to just sit back and watch. I have to let the team make me feel like I actually contributed. It's not good when your leadoff hitter is cold. Shohei Otani is pitching. I go down quick. They do as well. Walk, fielder's choice, walk, single, walk, and a runner scores. But Otani doubles, no one scores. Double, single, oh god, they just scored another single, it's 1-1. One, one. They got everybody, Ronald's failing again. Ronald was, he was the hero for the championship series, but now he's not looking too good. Savali is pitching and Will Smith hit a two-run home run. This is Jason Adams' last chance, because he's never being used again if he comes in and shits 
the bed. We lost. 3-1-2. Two. No offense to be seen. There was three hits. Zach Eflin is now pitching. And I need runners. No. Freeman, dude. Freeman hits a damn two-run shot. Alvarez gets a double. Strikeout. Single. The offense has disappeared. What? We just went like the first eight games or something of the damn playoffs. Wait a second. Willie Adamas hits a two-run home run. I believe again. I don't believe. Otani hit a solo shot. I believe! You're kidding me. It's the seventh inning. And Siri just hit a two-run home run. They scored. They're putting up one run per inning now. They're basically averaging a run per inning since the fifth. One more inning. Paredes. Why was I letting him pitch? He got the first out. Peter comes in and shuts the door. Paredes gets player of the game. The team goes back into Montreal and Mac, I was going to say Mike Freed. Max Freed is pitching and this is the game I need to win. Yes, Ronald did it. Ronald hit a double. Can't believe I'm saying that, but it seems like the one player I sacrificed the future of the team for has not done well except for one series. I scored. It's 2-1. That would be above one. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm doing something. Chris Taylor out of every single person on that damn team hit a solo shot. That'll be it for Max Freed. And here comes Peter to close the game. He gets... Oh, no, he doesn't get... Freeman gets a single. And then he finishes it. Max Freed gets player of the game. It's never been more well-deserved. Yeah, that was actually the most must-win game I've ever witnessed. Because now Bradley's pitching. Oh, wait, we're up 2 nothing. We might... Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. Thank God. Alvarez is amazing. Oh my God. I could kiss him. It's now 3-3 three, three in the fifth. I scored again. It was a Rosarena. Oh no. It was Otani. Oh my Jesus. Wait a second. It was Paredes. I, I, uh, oh yeah. I almost went down quick, but I didn't. It's now the bottom of the ninth and... Alvarez, I don't believe what I'm seeing. It is 3-1. It would be nice to wrap it up in Montreal, but I don't see if there's any possible way we do that when Otani's pitching. It would be very strange if that were to happen. Single, ground out, single, another single. No, nope. we have six hits. We're hitting a little bit. We're just not scoring against Otani. I mean, I don't know how oh, God Gavin Lux hit a home run. Who was it? It was, it was Josh Lowe. A double, I think, from what I'm looking at, and he scored two runs this month might be the damn World Series. No, wait, that was me. Alvarez, a Rosarena. Kershaw's giving up solo shots right now. Baz is pitching good. He's not tired. Oh my God, he just gave up a two-run shot. No, don't load to it now. Yes, got out of that. It's 4-3. I need to join. I need to join and watch. It is the ninth inning of the 2025 World Series. This is, this might actually be good. There's no one coming up. I don't think that's too scary for the Dodgers. Jake Bowers and then whoever the hell's batting ninth. I don't know why he keeps being inserted in the ninth inning or whatever. Keep, he stays in when we have Peter. What was that swing? Jake Bowers looked like a fool. Here he comes. Peter, that psychopath, enters the ninth. The screw job from whatever year that was in the 90s, or whenever it was, I don't remember. We have a chance to make history. They're singing in French in the nosebleed section. Bon vester à toi. Bon vester à toi. Bon vester, bon vester. I may have sacrificed the future of the franchise because I traded the future of the franchise, possibly in the pitching staff. The fan base hated me, but now that we're World Series champions. They love me in Montreal.